future multilinguals here we are yet again in my basement or my office whatever you want to call it now future multilinguals we're a small community but i would hope that two things we agree on in this if you're going to make a massive claim about language learning you need to offer some evidence for it and if something's not your area of expertise just say today's video is not my area of expertise i'm going to talk about comprehensible input and potential that it has an evolutionary basis so <laughs> If you don't like discussing language acquisition, this is not your video. Okay, so let's go. So, I think that first language learners and second language learners acquire that language because of comprehensible input. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Why do I think this? Well, what do I think happens? I think that through context and other potential help, yeah, potentially small amounts of translation, images, that's context, don't know why I'm saying it, uh, motheries for a child, or that means the way a mother speaks simply to a child or a father, or um, for an adult, maybe the ability to speak a, a similar language, Okay, I think all of those things add context and I think we understand messages and incidentally to understanding messages not under our conscious control, we acquire the grammatical system of the language and that that grammatical system is much more complicated than anything that is written in books, grammar books. That's what I think. That's what Bill Van Patten thinks. I think, sorry, Bill, if I got it wrong, uh, but I, I think that's what you think as well, isn't it? And I think that's what Stephen Krashen thinks. I'm in agreement with these people. But I think another thing, I think what Chomsky said is true. I know that Bill Van Patten and Stephen Krashen and those people, they also think what Chomsky said is true. I think that there's a universal grammar. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that we have this universal grammar in all and evolutionary yeah, system that enables us to comprehend languages and extract from them the rules or the structure of the language. Why do I think this? Well, I think over time, us humans and languages have evolved together. I don't think it's necessary to prove, I think it would be strange to prove that humans are evolved on their own and that language evolved on its own. I mean, it would be strange to think that, sorry. I don't think it's necessary to prove that, is it? So what, why is that important, James? Why is that important? You're getting all tongue-tied. Why are you tongue-tied? Well, this is important because, how do I describe this? I should have thought this before the video. As we've evolved over the years, yeah, we've evolved with certain languages that have certain similarities, no? They're all vocal, yeah? They all involve subcategories, words, yeah, and they all involve grammatical systems that seem totally different but aren't. I mean, you might be able to tell me a language that doesn't have negation, for example, but I think they all do, no? Do all languages have verbs, nouns? Do they all involve a structure, a verb, noun, order? Look, they all have certain similarities, as Chomsky once said. If you were to look at the planet Earth as an alien, you wouldn't think we spoke different languages. You would think we were speaking dialects of the same language. You would notice the similarities where we notice the differences. 
And I think over time, our cognition has evolved with these languages to acquire languages of the type of languages that are spoken of on this planet. And that we acquire those languages and our cognition has evolved to acquire those languages. Now, why is this important? Because well, I don't believe our cognition completely changes after about two years old and that we suddenly have to learn languages in a completely different way, i.e. the opposite. As in, learn these abstract rules like phonetics. There was actually a comment on Twitter, I saw it on Lang Twitter, and somebody said, I think that I learn phonetics, grammar and vocabulary and somehow magically, and it would be magic in my opinion, Look, I'm not, I'm not being rude, I'm just, I'm just saying I think this person is wrong. I think that's okay, no? Um, and it would be magic, in my opinion, if you held those abstract concepts in your head and somehow used those to create spontaneous spoken language. To me, that is so improbable. And I think that's this, it's obviously not true with the first language. Obviously not true. Kids do not do that. I think if you think about it, if we've evolved, evolved along with the languages which have evolved, we've all evolved together. We have surely evolved to acquire languages in one way. How many, how long have phonetics and vocabulary, uh, and sorry, not vocabulary, and abstract descriptions of grammar existed why would it be that if we've evolved to acquire languages in one way suddenly over the last few hundred years that's changed evolution out of the window this is formal linguistics and this is how you're going to learn languages it is so so improbable people in my mind what do you think do you disagree with me? Was that your comment on Twitter? I can't remember who made that comment. Uh, do you think that people um, that people do learn things separately and bring them together magically when they speak? How do you justify that cognitively? Or do you believe, as many people believe, I've noticed, that every individual human being, despite you know being pretty similar cognitively, in, in terms of how our cognitions have evolved, that they all have acquire languages in completely different ways. How can you justify that belief? I want to hear from you. Watch the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, comment, comment. Let's have a debate. When you stress test your ideas, that's not being rude to people. That's having a discussion and constructing knowledge together. James, future multilingual, See you soon.